encore une fois. Portland, Maine, the rolling coast, nice cool breezes from the ocean, and the birthplace of one of America's most prolific poets, Henry Wadsworth Longfellow. Longfellow was born of one of eight children to a wealthy and very proficient lawyer. Throughout his early education, Longfellow displayed a great knack for the literary arts, and as the age of 13 came around, he published his first ever poem in his local Portland Gazette entitled the Battle of Lovell's Pond. The poem in its lyrical meter was a creation to honor his maternal grandfather, Peleg Wadsworth Sr., a great Revolutionary War general. During his tenure at Badawin College, Longfellow continued to expand his literary horizons. Upon his graduation, the institution offered Longfellow a professorship on the condition that he travel to Europe and extensively research modern languages. He did so and became Badawan College's first modern language professor at the age of 19. He later joined Harvard University as a master language professor under similar conditions. Throughout his many travels through Europe, Longfellow acquired a great taste for many foreign languages, including Latin, which assisted him in being the first American to translate Dante's epic poem, The Divine Comedy. This, in turn, solidified Longfellow's place as a great literary figure. Throughout his own many works, Longfellow was a master of allegory and lyrical poetry, utilizing simple rhythms and rhymes of a song-like meter, and his present surroundings as inspiration for his work. In Longfellow's Hyperion, he uses allegorical metaphors to allude to his second wife Fanny's death by accidental fire from a lit match. This tragic event in Longfellow's life was the source of his rather distinctively recognizable beard, which he grew out to cover the many burns and scars that he suffered while striving to save Fanny in vain. Despite his great success, Longfellow was often accused of being a plagiarist or just borrowing from many other authors' works just to create his own. His one-time friend Edgar Allan Poe even is quoted as saying that Longfellow was no more than a petty thief a pickpocket. America must not have been listening to his critics, though, for Longfellow was celebrated as one of the nation's first true celebrities. Upon his 70th birthday, parades rang out and monuments were built up as much of his poetry was recited across the nation in jubilant glee. His legacy would not last for much longer, however, as at the age of 75, Longfellow died of peritonitis surrounded by his family in his home in Cambridge, Massachusetts. Yeah.